sort of based on a Japanese aesthetic called Wabi Sabi, which is um, uh, rural simplicity. They're not finely turned and perfect. There's flaws in them, there's bumps in them. What I tend to do is throw the first bit. It's quite fluid throwing, so it's not as though I'm, I'm trying to get a perfect shape. And then I leave that to dry for a day or so. Then I would turn it up and trim the foot ring and carve off some of this, just hand carved really with a knife. That's left to dry again until it comes to biscuit firing. It's quite rough and ready. I'll pour the black glaze in the middle bit, swish it around and tip it out. And that's where you get these streaks down the side, these dribbles. And then I would glaze the outside then as well. It's a low fire glaze, so I get it up to temperature and then I have to take it out of the hot kiln with tongs and stick it in a bin with hay in and I put a lid on it and that's called a reduction part of the process. What happens is the, the pot's red hot and wants oxygen. It can't get it from the air anymore so it starts pulling it out of the glaze in the pot and that's why you get these different forms, these different colours. You end up with a um, tea bowl that's Still, still got my thumb mark there, you could feel it if you picked it up.